Welcome everybody, Kevin from Helpful Tutorials. This video is going to kind of continue where the last video left off. If you've already done the last video, which I will link up top, then this is part two. If you're still having a problem and that didn't resolve the issue, this one should. So basically on your voicemail here, it's still saying no voicemails for you. And when people call your voicemail, it's saying your voicemail is full, but you're still not seeing them. This is how we're going to go ahead and fix it. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. And if you do like iPhone fixes, tutorials, and app discovery, make sure you go ahead and smack that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. So with that, let's go ahead and go over to our settings. We're gonna go ahead and click on settings. And we're gonna go to general after that. And then we're gonna go ahead and choose software update. Now I currently do not have a software update but there have been some problems with 12.0, mainly 12.1 and 12.2, though I have seen it still happening in the newer version, but once you fix it in the newest version, it stays fixed. So what we wanna do is download any updates before we go any further. So you wanna go ahead and hit download and install. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi and you're plugged in up to at least 50%. It'll go through and download the update and then it'll install it. I don't have a video on how to do this yet, but when I do, I'll go ahead and link it above. Once the phone comes back and it says this message here, your software is up to date. What we need to do next is go ahead and go out of this screen and we're going to go into the phone. So now that we're here, let me kind of explain what's going on. This is called visual voicemail. It shows the voicemail that are on your voicemail box. So it's not connected correctly. Once you update the software, that connection is going to be fixed, but you still have to delete the messages that are in there so it starts working. So what we need to do is basically what they used to do back in the Stone Ages and call the voicemail and delete them on the voicemail itself. So there's different ways to do this depending on which service you have. I'm going to go over the two most popular. Verizon would be star eight six and now go ahead and call your voicemail automatically and it'll tell you how many voicemails you have. There is a chance that it will say you need to enter a password for voicemail. If that's the case, you would want to enter the voicemail password. I believe for Verizon, the default is the last five digits of your phone number. You may have changed it though since then. If you're still having problems and you can't get this set up, you may need to reset your voicemail and you can do that simply by calling Verizon. Now for AT&T, they don't have a star code that I was able to find, but what you would do is call your own phone number. When you call your phone no own phone number, it'll go through and connect you with your voicemail box. And again, it may ask for a password and you can simply call AT&T and they can reset it. With calling Verizon and AT&T, I believe resetting the voicemail is all done through the automation prompts. So you really won't have to talk to anyone. You just call in, choose reset voicemail password, and it'll reset it for you. Then when you get it reset, you would come back and call them again. Again, Verizon star 86, AT&T, your own phone number, and then call. Then you'd want to delete your messages. Usually the universal key to delete messages is seven. So you would just hit seven and if it says deleted, that's correct. I know Verizon is seven and you would just keep hitting it every time you hear a new message until your box is completely empty. Of course, you want to listen to the message first if you have not listened to it and you want to listen to it. But if you just want to delete them, you would just keep spamming the button until it says no new voicemail. So what I would do is go to a different phone, call your phone, let it go to voicemail, leave a message. And at that point, you'll see a message pop up here and you'll be good to go. Now, if you updated your iPhone, like I suggested, you will no longer have this problem because the bug was fixed in 12.3.1. However, if you didn't delete the messages, you'd have to do that for it to take place going forward. So I really hope this helped and I want to thank so much for the support from the other video. I haven't seen many comments, but I did notice that this was happening and there's not a real good solid solution. So I wanted to put that out there because this is what this site's all about. 
feel free if you look at any of my videos and you do not get fixed please let me know why and i will go ahead and investigate and i will get you that fix i'm always about that so thank you so much for the view i appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video